guys, welcome back to Dutch Modeling with another inbox review. Uh, this time I got the uh, Edward uh, Jagdpanzer 38T, commonly known as the Hetzer. And I'm only gonna say this, which isn't its real name, it never was designated the Hetzer. The mid production, uh, probably being Edward, it's a kit they took from somebody else. I uh, heard the rumors it's the Academy kit. Which they upped. So we'll see. Uh, what it says it's the, the German World War II tank destroyer ready to assemble model kit, metal gun barrel, realistic plastic tracks, clear periscopes, three markings and painting options, accurately reproduced crew depart compartments, complete Praga EA 160k engine, movable. The movable gun with ammunition, two photo edge sets with grid tools, clips, ammo stores, mud guards, and other details, and blah blah blah. And this side we got the uh, photo of the build part. As you can see, close up a little bit, and it looks very nice. I'm just while telling you, I'm looking what the ages of this kit, but I can't find it. It's a scale model kit. It's one. It's 14.5 centimeters length, uh, nine, 19.6 centimeters in width, two, 355 plastic parts and 130 metal parts. And uh, we got the box out here again. As you can see some uh, the painting options on this side. And uh, more uh, this one, and I'm just looking for the age. It's kit number three seven one three for the ones who want to know. Made in Czech Republic, and I'm still don't I'm still unable to find a date. Probably on the inside. Uh, we're gonna start. Let's start with the instructions with the instruction book. Because it's not a sheet, it's really it's a book. Nice full color. Uh, first a few words on the war, on the production, with some pictures on here on the original 30T, the Marder 3M. Uh, first prototype, first production early and a final production. So, so this is nice, actual information. Uh, again on the war, here on the model, special thanks and the Specifications and this hatch they're depicting as the mid production hatch of Swift with an unknown unit in France in the fall of 1944. The tank wore one of the factory's ambush camouflage schemes of yellow spots on green and brown fields and green spots on the yellow fields. So, you know that. Full color instructions, don't know how I feel about it yet. I don't know if it makes it easy, more easy or more difficult, but you can see the painted parts immediately so you know what what color they gonna need to be uh, starting with the top and they're starting with some straps some inlays then you're gonna build the up the engine and uh, placing them in the engine compartment uh, here is something Has to do with the. This is in there. I didn't see that before, so. On that later, I guess. Uh, this is uh, looking like a radio set, more engine stuff. Uh, probably not a radio set then. Uh, more the engine compartments. Driving. Papa, papa. Here's the driver's purpose. No, not. It's still the engine compartment on the back. Here they go to the driver's seat. That's probably where is that supposed to go then? Three, three, three. Still not here. Sorry, think I'm out loud. And decals on the inside of the. I have to zoom you in a bit so you can see it better. Not too far. Here you've got, it, got some decals to the inside, it says... Uh, 
Oh, cool. Uh, it says, uh, I'm, I'm going to translate it roughly. Warning, uh, it's the Canon 4D. Shooting without the no muzzle brake is uh, prohibited. That's, that's a nice detail. Uh, yeah, it's interior, interior. It's the drive shaft with the transmission you're building. Oh, this is it. They made a mistake here somewhere probably. Let's see if I can see it. Nope, it looks the same to me. I have no clue why they it's green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. The little they there's a mistake made. Oh, you can see it from there. I'm gonna zoom you out because this isn't working. Oh, that's the wrong side. Sorry. I'm so sorry. No, pick up again. So they. You can see this here. This little part, this, the the elevator bit, it was lost in the print here. So that's what it. It's nice. Uh, the placement of the ammo racks. Do not glue. De, 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 de. Okay, the ammo clamp, so you can uh, open the ammo clamp, take out the ammo if you want. If you want, you don't want to, I guess. These are radios. Don't know what this is. Probably see it when I, pla I have to place it. Back to the more uh, different markings, just what one you want. Probably have to look in the back. Uh, placement of the radio, the periscope, more. Oh, geez, don't you. Ah, they did this really very irritating. They. The way you. They. they Depicted it the way you're gonna model it. So you model this is the the top hole, the up top side, and when you model it, you normally put it on its back and put it in. So they already modeled it on its back. So these are the cartridges, and they're going in upside down. So that's uh, they really thought about it, but I don't know if it's the best way to do it. Let's say keep it like that. Uh, you start building the gun. Bridge, bridge block, lock, elevations. Uh, then you're gonna be the model the the gun itself. Okay. Just one you wanna do, I think. Ah, okay. Yeah, I get it. If you got the, uh, the the last piece of the gun, and if you're gonna use the, you got a, you got a two-part gun at least in the kit, and if you're gonna use the uh, aluminum barrel, you just have to cut off the the ends where you stick it in, and glue that together on the butt of the uh, aluminum barrel. So otherwise, it won't fit. And then you go. Stick it into the breech. Then da da da. Six binoculars, telescope, mirror top bottom. It's a very, it's a big book. <laughs> and then the outside. I'm just gonna hurry this up because it's gonna be a very long. A very long uh, review otherwise. Armor plating going on, hatches coming on, more hatches, tools coming on. The, uh, jack coming on, here's the exhaust. Then we're going to the suspension and the wheels coming on. And we're only on page number 16. Uh, installation of the tracks. Looks like this is length and length. Looks like, I don't know for sure, I have to see. It. Uh, the machine gun on top, more armor. I got the ball pen. For some reason, they want you to, to, to draw lines on the PE with ball pen. Let me 
show you that up close. I don't know why, but that will probably figure out by the time I'm going to build this. Uh, vision blocks, side armor, spare tracks, and then we get to the painting stage. And I'm going to build this one. It's very easy because this is one depicted in the Netherlands and I'm being Dutch. So, yeah. Pants up the Jakob Town 741. The summer production hatcher belong to the Heres Panzerjäger Abteilung 741. Panzerjäger Abteilung 741. Yeah, just, just what you said. Ah, oh, wait. Uh, Pants up Town 741 was uh, assigned to the first Fallschirmjäger Division. So, or the first airborne division in the Netherlands in September 1944 at the time of market garden operation the camouflage was field applicated of dark green blotches with a brown border over the factory overall European yellow note the six vent, vented idler wheels early cast type driver vision so that's really if you're gonna do this scheme you need these idler wheels because and I can show you this is one from spring 45, so it's uh, just six months older. And you got different idle wheels, you see? So that's what you have to be careful in when you're building this. This is A, this is B. And we got here a, and again another one, a C. Do we got a D? No, we don't got a D. This is a, uh, I want this one also got a different idler wheel. So if you're building this thing, you need to be careful which one you're going to build before you're going to build it. So there are different, some uh, parts of it you need to exchange for a certain uh, version. And we got on the back, we got a full color sprue map, numbered sprue map with in blue crosses, the parts you don't need. As you can see. And then also stating the clear parts, fo sorry, photo edge parts, this metal string, the print, the metal barrel part and the Edward mask. And the colors are in Gunze. And Aquarius and Mr. Color. And that's it. It's a 2006, it says here. So, so far, the book. And we're only 13 minutes in. And now, the box. Starting with some little things, like, and I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to, I am going to take it out because it's resealable. Resealable. The metal gun barrel, and it's drilled out. And is it grooved or bored? Sorry for the close-up. Uh, no, it's not. I don't know if it's it's smooth bore. Probably is. Was. the first. Let's do where Edward is famous for. Uh, then we got the deck holes sheet. It's nice, so resealable bags. Everybody should do it. But this one is too small for the sheet. And I can't get it out. <laughs> oh wow. I have to bend it to get it out. That's not very smart. But I will get it out because I want to see the quality of the decals. Edward made. As you can see, I hope you can see. That's the one I just read to you. That's the only real readable one because these are just. And probably. But they're looking pretty nice. And they're not too much. Too glossy. Come on, I'm gonna shoot, try to catch the light. Very. So, and there was a piece of, yeah, 
string. But that's gonna be replaced. Because it's yeah, they they don't even have in my opinion that that string. Yeah, nice, but leave it. Maybe you don't have to steal the wool from your grandma while she's making socks. It's yeah, that's that's pretty useless. Then we got some photo edge, which I'm not gonna take out because I don't wanna scratch it up. It also says 2006. Part two and part one. Yeah, it's Edward, so photo edge is what I do best. What that's doing in there, I don't know, but it probably shows itself. And the other side, another small one. Let's get the clear of it. So, that's not a real issue, of course. Then these are the wheel masks. So nice touch. The clear parts. Okay, this is strange. I can't wear this as a glove. I don't know why they did this. It's probably a mistake in a factory or something. Ah, there's glue. It's resealable. Oh, there is a lot of flesh. Oh, that's the ending. Something went wrong. Let's see, around that fusion block, the top side. That's very. That's bad. It's the, luckily the only one, but I got a giant. Oh well, giant. Oh well, it's. A, I guess it's a sinkhole in there. that one. I have to try and do it like this. Just uh, damn. There you see. I don't know if it's going to be visible but that's the bed. So one sinkhole, one with a lot of flesh. Oh well, probably don't see a lot of that either, but it's not the way it's supposed to be, of course. <sighs> there. Let me put this low. The screws. Glue together. The wheels and the uh, gun mantlet. Uh, what do I think of this? It's a very delicate detail. There's some flesh on the wheels. Uh, there is some texture on the gun mantlet. The flesh is on the wheels is really minimum, but still there on the outside. See it. The texture on the one, the texture on the gun metal. Hope it shows. Take the glare off. It shows then. And I don't think the camera will catch it. Pretty hard to see for me what the camera catches. Isn't it? It's a detail on the wheel, so that's all. That's, that's not a lot. We got these, except same sprue. Nope. Slightly different uh, gun mantlet. This is the this is the early. It says on the sprue, so I'm guessing. And this is the normal. So you can see there is some difference between the uh, things. So you have to be careful which one you pick. Then we got uh, this is also part of the gun. 
Matlet. And there's the armor plates. The exhaust is in two parts. Here. And some more. This is the back plate. Some grills. More armor. This is all clean. As far as I can tell. Yep. We got here. We got. I have no clue. The radio. This looks like a radio device thingy. Some more. I thought this would be the outside, but it seems this is going to be the inside. Some kind of hook. The places for the ammunition, where you put the bottom in. Yeah. So this is guessing brown is the inside, but no, it won't be. Ah, don't start thinking out loud. So here's the radio. I'm guessing it's a radio, of course, at least. I'll put it in the detail. Got to get some more. There's some more. And that's nothing spectacular. So yeah, it looks pretty smooth. Everything. There's some nice detail. Got some choices between different uh, gun mandlets, the early version and the mid production. The early production, mid production. It's a nice touch. You can build at least three different, yeah, we saw it in the instruction book. You can build at least three different versions with one kit, and it's always a nice thing in my opinion. Oh, this is the big box with the tracks. There are length and length, length and length, link and length, link and length. But I think the box set would be individuals. I'll have to check that in a second. Get it out first. Let's start with those tracks. There's only one screw. They're very small, but they were, of course. Uh, papa, there's a very small ejector pin mark every 10 links. On the individual links, there's ejector pin marks on every link so there's a lot of cleanup here and there there is a little bit of flash but yeah that's cleaned up within a second i guess on the other side hmm. yeah that looks uh, it's just discolored they don't look too bad you can see it it's the outside And this is the inside. Oh, I almost let you fall. So you can see every so often there's, there's one, and there's one, but on the individuals, everyone has one. So that's gonna be a hell of a cleanup job. And I'm really curious, but I f because I fought on the box, it said individual links which it's not apparently uh, realistic plastic tracks so it's not individual I didn't say that I'm wrong so let's continue with the review and we got here the machine gun that's on the top which looks not too bad could be better. But then it's pretty small, of course. There it is. And something di a different black thingy. Maybe you can see it better then. And then, other we got the light. Suspension parts, armor plating, 
Toe hook eyes. And nothing special. The next screw got a nice form. Uh, the telescopic binoculars, tools, uh, shovel, cutters, hammer, axe. Some yes, track changing metal thingies. The uh, jack, some boxes, extra ammo, jack block. Once again, nothing really special. And we got a sprue with wheels. Again, strange. Suspension parts, road wheels, two part barrel. So that's what I was talking about earlier when I was not really talking about more thinking out loud. This is a two part barrel, as you can see, of course. And if you're going to use the aluminium barrel, you have to cut the, you have to cut it off here. You have to cut this part off. You need this part to join it into the tank. Kind of strange way to do it, I think. Uh, some nice detail on the wheels and the sprockets. On the inside, there is isn't any detailing, so that's a shame. Uh, spring leaves, also not. Oh, well, this is the outside, so I'm gonna show you that. Not too bad. Then we got the lower and the upper hole. No texture whatsoever. There is a weld seam which is done nicely. Hope you can see this. Uh, the color of that plastic really doesn't help a lot. Actually. That's done pretty nice. And you yeah, come to the top where the I've had, uh, vision blocks and then the lower hole. All the spacers. Of course inside with some detailing because you have a full interior. Uh, very scarce with the uh, welding seams on this one only in here on the top. You can see those two. That's every. That's all. Those two species. That's it. Nothing on the bottom. If you can see here, oh, or not, can see. It's pretty smooth. So that's a shame. They could have done better. Put it back. In the back. Probably gonna be a while before I build this. So. Next one, and oh, the last last one already. Can expect a bit more to be honest. <coughs> Let's see what we got here. Uh, some small pieces. The oh, this is a nice. This is a nice touch. I'm I'm just. Going on a length here, it's, this is going to be the accelerator or the brake, one of the two. That's that's a nice touch. And yeah, all little fiddly things. Don't know what they are. There's no, f yeah, there's a little bit flesh there, but it's within seconds work. Uh, some detailing on this side, there's an instrument panels. You probably have to, f I guess, those stickers I saw with the uh, the big PE side, PE fret, they fit in here, so I'm guessing they have to get in there. Uh, we got ammunition, engine parts, 
storage racks, one piece ammunition, that's always a good thing. Only attached on one point, always a good thing. Very generic, it does not really, really much to see on this one. You can see there's some ribbing there, there's some more ammunition. This is the sister sprue, it's the same one. So even completely the same. And then the last sprue, there is some fair wheels, well blah 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 blah. Let's see, this is all parts of the firing mechanism. This is engine. Engine parts. Breech block parts. I would almost say I missed something. But it really is the last sprue, so. Okay. I kind of was expecting another bag of screws, to be honest. But again, it's a pretty small tank, of course. Or tank destroyer in this case. So. Get it all back in the box. And I'm going to finish this little inbox review. I'm just gonna... no, they're all spruce, they're not that much. I thought it would be take me, take me longer to work through them. Uh, first impressions of this kit doing this inbox review. Could go away to be honest. Some parts are really nice, some parts are really aren't. There's the lack of exterior texturing, if you ask me, especially on the uh, yeah. I wish I was a native Englishman. Uh, gun mantlet, pig's head. Well, we have to see how it turns out. Uh, there's a lot of PF, of course, well, there's some nice parts of PF on, on this. And the engine, everything is nice, so you probably open it up completely. Stick it on a little diorama while they're being uh, serviced or something like that. We'll see what happens with this. So, as far as this goes, the Yak Panzer 38T, commonly better known as the Hatcher, it's a mid production by Edward 135. 2006 kit. I hope you enjoyed this a little review. If you do, let me know. If you don't, don't. So, see you soon. Bye bye.